Okay, our lesson for today is all about pipes connected in series and in parallel connection. So, kailan ka gagamit ng series connection? Okay, gagamit ka kapag magkaiba yung mga diameters ng pipes mo. For example, we have here and we have here a figure na ang pipe 1 natin mas malaking diameter niya kaysa pipe 2 and yung pipe 3 iba din yung diameter niya. Although they have different diameter, but they have the same flow or discharge or Q. So kung may pumapasok dito na Q, okay, that is equal to Q sub 1 Q sub 2 and Q sub 3. Okay? Kung ano yung pumasok na discharge, yun yung discharge ng each pipes. Okay? Kahit magkaiba yung mga diameters nila. Now, regarding the head losses, although same sila ng Q, pero they have different head losses. That's why, yung total head loss nila, itong pipe na to, is equal to the individual or the sum of the individual head losses of each pipe. Okay? So, we have here the total head loss equal to head loss of pipe 1, head loss of pipe 2, head loss of pipe 3, and the head loss due to the minor na, na head loss. So, ano ba ito yung minor head loss? Diba, yung sa PDF na nabasa ninyo, we have two types of head losses. We have the major loss and we have the minor loss. A major loss, it is the loss due to the friction. We have here the three types of head losses. Major, major to siya na mga head losses, which is due to the friction. We have the Darcy Weisbach, we have the Manning, and we have the Hazen Williams na head loss. Ano ba tong minor head loss? It is due to the pie at due to the fittings, the bending of your pipes, okay? Those are just minor head losses. Ang mga major head loss class, nagadepende yung given sa isang problem kung ano yung pipiliin mo dito na formula. For example, sa problem ang given is the F or the friction coefficient. Therefore, you will use the Darcy Weisbach. If ang given naman sa problem is the N or the Manning's coefficient, therefore, you will use the Manning's coefficient. Pag ang given sa problem is the Hazen-Williams coefficient, therefore, you will use this equation here. Now, let's use this for our sample problem number one. We have two pipes, each are 300 meters long, they are connected in series. The flow of water through the pipes is 150 liter per second with a total frictional loss of 15 meters. So, ang total loss natin dito is 15 meters or yung capital H HL. If one pipe has a diameter of 300 millimeter, what is the diameter of the other pipe? Neglect minor losses and assume F is equal to 0 0.02 for both pipes. So, my F tie dito equal to 0 0.02. Therefore we, will, therefore, we will use the Darcy Weisbach equation. Okay? Ang hinahanap natin dito is the diameter of the other pipe. So, ano ba yung diameter of the other pipe? Based from the figure or the given, ang pipe 1 natin, ang length na is 300 meters and ang diameter niya is 300 millimeter. Ang pipe 2, same sila, 300 meter yung length, pero wala siyang diameter. Therefore, we need to know the D sub 2 or the diameter at pipe 2. And take note also, according to the problem, neglect minor losses. So, therefore, we will not include the minor loss in computing for the head losses. Okay? So, therefore, we will first get the Q, 
we're in alam naman natin na yung Q for each pipe is equal and given na yung ating Q which is 150 liter per second. In order to convert it na mas madali, i-divide mo lang siya by 1,000 from liter to cubic meter per second. So, 150 divide 1,000. That is 0.15 cubic meter per second. Now, for the total head loss, we have here the sum of the individual head loss for each pipe. So, HF sub 1 plus HF sub 2, i-plus mo lang sila. And for the individual head losses for each pipe, we will use the darcy Weisbach equation. Kasi nga yung given sa problem is the friction loss which is 0 0.02. And take note na wala tayong g plus dito na minor loss because it is or should be neglected according to the problem. Now, for the total head loss, we have 15 total frictional loss or head loss which is equal to the sum of the individual head losses of each pipe. So for the head loss at pipe 1, we have 0 0.0826. Uh, hindi pa natin nalagay yung ating length. So dito tayo, 0 0.0826 times 0 0.02 na F. Okay, and for the L sub 1, we have 300 or the length. And the Q, which is 0.15 squared, all over 0.3 raised to 5. Remember that you must always convert your diameter in 2 meter. Okay? Dapat uniform lahat ng ating mga units. Plus, the head loss at pipe 2, which is 0 0.0826 times 0 0.02, the F, times 300, the length, times 0.15, na... Q, because the Q1 is equal to the Q2, and that is equal to 0.15. Squared all over this sub 2 raised to 5, which is yung unknown natin na diameter. Now, simplify this equation. We have this sub 2 or the diameter at pipe 2, which is equal to 0.255 meters or 255 millimeters. Now, for the sample problem number 2, we have... Two pipes, one and two, are in series. So, hindi naman, hindi man siya kailangan ng problem because we only have two pipes and we all know basta in series is horizontal yung kanila motion or vertical motion as long as isang line lang sila. Okay? If the roughness coefficients, so ito hindi F na ang given but N. So, pag N, Manning's coefficient. Manning's equation yung ating gagamitin for the major head loss. And the diameter, D sub 1, which is 500 millimeter, or the diameter at pipe 1. Find the diameter D sub 2 or the diameter at pipe 2 if the slope of their energy grade lines are to be the same. So when we talk about the slope, we have here HF over L. Okay, and because it is a series connection, so therefore, yung total head loss nila would be the individual or the sum of the individual head losses for each pipe. So, we have here the formula for the head loss of each pipe, 10.29 n squared times L times q squared all over d raised to 16 over 3. And we all know that the formula for the slope, it is, it is h sub f over l, or the head loss all over l. Mapansin natin na yung s natin dito, or slope, has the same variable with our Manning's formula, which is the l variable. Therefore, i-equate natin sila, i-divide natin by l, we have 10.29 n, n raised to 2 times L times Q squared all over L times D raised to 16 over 3. So, maka-cancel out na yung ating L. Now, ah, sabi kasi dito class, if the slope of their energy grade line, so hindi ka na mag-add mag, uh, pa nung 
uh, HL, H sub 1, HF sub 1, HF sub 2, plus HF minor. So, hindi ka na maganon. Kasi nga, all you have to do is to equate the slope of pipe 1 and the slope of pipe 2. Which is this equation. Okay? Here. Nagkaiba lang sila on their diameter. But they have the same Q. Because the pipes 1 and pipe 2 are or does have the same discharge because it they are in series connection now you have 10.29 times n squared times q squared all over d raised to 16 over 3 now for the pipe one in computing for its slope we have 10.29 times n sub 1 squared times q sub 1 squared all over d sub 1 raised to 16 over 3 now, we have 10.29 times n sub 1 raised to 2 times q squared all over 0.5 raised to 16 over 3. Okay, so we have this value here. For the pipe 2, we have s sub 2 which is equal to 10.29 times n sub 2 squared times q squared, q sub 2 squared all over d sub 2 raised to 16 over 3. So, ang n sub 2 class, tsaka, sa, ang, tsaka, sa, tsaka ang n sub 1 is hindi given. But we all know that n sub 2 is equal to twice of n sub 1. So, therefore, itong n sub 2, we can equate it in terms of n sub 1. And in, itong q sub 2, dahil equal siya sa q sub 1, then pwede nat, din natin siyang gawing q variable. Okay? That's why we have 10.29 times 2 times n sub 1 quantity squared times q squared all over d sub 2 raised to 16 over 3. So, simplify mo magiging slope of pipe 2 which is equal to 41.16 n sub 1 squared times q squared all over d sub 2 raised to 16 over 3. Now, equate mo na sila. Hindi ka na kailangan nun mag-total pa ng mga head losses because you have this equation here as stated in the problem na yung slope mo for pipe 1 is equal to the slope at pipe 2. So, therefore, you have here is equal to the slope here. And you have d sub 2 or the diameter at pipe 2, it is equal to 0.648 meters or 648 millimeters. Now, what if our pipes is or have a parallel connection? Ano ba yung parallel connection? Parallel connection if nakabranch yung ating mga pipes. So, supposing we have here an entering discharge Q at point A or at joint A. Tumatravel na yung ating tubig ngayon at branches 1, 2, and 3. Okay? And they have individual Q. Kung sa series, same lang yung ating Q na dumadaloy. Okay, pag-connected yung ating mga pipe, although they have the different diameter. In parallel naman, although they have the same slope, kung same slope man sila, but if they are in parallel connection, they have different Q. Okay? So, yung principle natin dito, kung ano yung Q na nag enter on the junction. Kung ilan yung mga branches na yun, yun yung total of the Q for the sum of each branch. Okay? The total discharge of each branches. Okay? So, therefore, yung Q natin dyan, okay? So, yung Q natin dito, that is equal to Q sub 1 plus Q sub 2 plus Q sub 3. Okay? Kung ano yung nag -e enter this point A, dun din yung equivalent ng mga discharge. Okay? 
on these individual branches. Okay, so magkaiba siya sa series now. Pero when it comes to head losses, the same lang yung head loss natin dito for pipe 1, pipe 2, and pipe 3. So therefore, the total head loss is equal to pipe head loss at pipe 1, pipe 2, and pipe 3. Okay? Now, applicable lang ba ito siya sa mga straight na mga pipe? So, what if pa-curving ating pipe? So, it is still applicable yung ating parallel connection na principle. Supposing we have here a reservoir and then dumadali siya in pipe 1 and naka-curve yung ating pipe for pipe 3 and for pipe 2. Itong pipe 3 and pipe 2 class, they are in the parallel connection. Okay? Because they are they are two branches connected in one point, which is the point C. And by same sila na source, which is Q1. Therefore, the total Q of Q2 and Q3, it is equal to the discharge na pumapasok dito sa point of origin nila. Okay? Na kung itong Q2 and Q3 naman, papasok naman at point D. So, they will have combined discharge. So, therefore, balik siya sa Q4. Therefore, Q1, Q sub 1, and Q sub 4, they are equal. Okay? Kasi wala naman nakabranch yung ating Q sub 4 eh. So, therefore, Q sub 1, it is equal to Q sub 4. And Q sub 1, it is equal to Q sub 3 and plus Q sub 2. Okay? And the head loss of pipe 2 and pipe 3 is equal kasi nga they are in parallel connection. But the total head loss, ikukunin mo yung total head loss natin dito, class. You will get the individual head losses of pipe 1, itong parallel connection na to, and for this. Pero, hindi siya na head loss at, at 1, head lo plus head loss at 3, plus 2, plus 4. Dahil nakaparallel connection itong pipe 2 and 3, they will be treated as 1 head loss. Yung head loss nila for 2 and 3. It will be treated as 1. Okay? That's why yung ginamit natin dito is head loss at pipe 1 plus head loss at pipe 2, plus head loss at pipe 4. Because, pwede mo magamit naman dito si, si HF3. Okay? Pwede yan siya. Kasi nga, same lang sila ng head loss. Isa lang yung gagamitin mo dito na head loss. For the total loss, for the total head loss from point A to point B. Because, ang daloy nito, they will be treated as a series connection. Okay? So, ang daloy nito. Okay? That's why itong part na to, parallel na mga branches, they will be treated as one head loss, which is HF sub, uh, sub 2 or HF sub 3. Okay? Now, let's have a sample problem. A pipe network consists of pipeline 1 from a to B. So, we have here a pipeline 1 from A to B and may dumadalay tayo dito na water supply. Then, at B, at joint B, it is connected to pipelines 2 and 3. So, nakabranch to siya. So, nahati na ngayon yung flow from Q1. So, nahati siya from at 2, Q2 and Q3. So, they have individual na mga discharge. And according to this, pipelines 1, pipelines 1, 2, and 4 are in series connection. So, meaning, pag i-add mo yun yung mga head loss natin dito, head loss at pipe 1, then head loss itong dalawa na to, and head loss at 4, they will have a total, or you will create a total head loss. So, hindi sila lang same head loss lahat. Kung ano yung individual head losses nila, yun yung total head loss. Okay? 
So, if the rate of flow from A to B, so, binigay na ngayon dito yung flow from A to B, A to B, which is technically the Q1, okay, which is technically equal to Q4, that is equal to 10 liter per second, or 0 0.01 cubic meter per second. Divide mo lang yung 10 sa 1,000. And assuming F is equal to 0 0.02 for all pipes. So, therefore, gagamit ka ngayon ng darcy Weisbach equation because yung given na ngayon is F. Determine the flow in each pipe and the total head loss from A to D. Ano daw yung flow natin dito from Q1? So, alam na natin for Q1, which is 0 0.01 cubic meter per second. Hindi natin alam itong Q and Q3. But alam natin sa 4, also 0 0.01 cubic meter per second. Kasi nga, series connection from A to D. Okay? Ang parallel connection is just the branch 2 and 3. Okay? So, we have here the data for our pipelines. For pipe 1, we have the length 3,000 and the diameter 200 millimeter. For pipe 2, we have the length 2,200 and the diameter 300. For pipe 3, we have 3,200 and the diameter na 200. And for pipe 4, we have 2,800 and the diameter 400. So, ang una natin gagawin, we will find for the individual head losses. Okay? We will use the darcy Weisbach equation. Ang hinahanap kasi natin dito class is the flow in each pipe, itong Q2 and Q3, hindi natin alam. Only the Q1 and Q4. And the total head loss from A to D. A to D. So therefore, we need to get the HF1, HF, HF2, which is equal to HFN3, which is, and plus HF sub 4. So, we need to get the total head loss. For HF sub 2 class or the head loss at pipe 2, gagamitin natin ngayon yung mga values for pipe 2. Okay? And we have here this equation. Kasi nga hindi natin alam yung value ni Q sub 2. For pipe 3 class, so ginawa na lang natin siya ng equation. Pero same pa rin sila ng head loss itong head loss ng 2, pipe 2, compare mo sa 3, same sila ng head loss kasi nga in parallel connection sila, itong pipe 2 and 3. Now, for pipe, pipe 4, they have different uh, head loss with pipe 1, okay? But they have the same Q, which is 0 0.01. So, gamitin natin yung data from our table. Okay, make sure that your diameter, if it is millimeter, convert it to meter. Okay, para uniform yung ating mga, ang ating mga um, units. So, alam na natin class the, our individual head losses. Pero hindi natin siya ma-add kasi nga may mga unknown tayo dito na variable. So, you can use either HF2 and HF3 you will still get the same total head loss. Okay? Because HF2 and HF3 is equal. So, first we will get the uh, Q, Q2 and Q3. So, dahil alam natin na equal yung head loss nila, we will equate this one in order to get equation 1. Okay? We need two equation because we have two unknown. So, for the equation 1, equate yung formula for the head loss at pipe 2 and head loss at pipe 3. Okay? So, kinuha natin yung kanilang individual head losses para ma-equate natin sila, dalawa. So, we have here the head loss at pipe 2 and head loss at pipe 3. And you will get equation 1 which is Q sub 2 and it is equal to 3.323 times Q sub 3. 
Now, we need equation 2. For the equation 2 class, alam natin na kung ano na discharge yung dumadalay dito, at, dito at junction B, it is equivalent to the total sum of this individual branches. Okay? So, therefore, Q sub 1, it is equal to Q sub 3 plus Q sub 2. Okay? It is equal to 0 0.01. Now, Q sub 2 here, we have here the equation 2. I substitute natin yung equation 1 with equation 2, which is 3.323 Q sub 3 plus Q sub 3, which is 0 0.01. And you have Q sub 3, which is 0 0.00231 cubic meter per second. Multiply lang natin by 1,000 to get 2.31 liter per second. So, we already have the discharge at pipe 3. So, i-compute na natin ngayon yung ating discharge at pipe 2. Substitute lang natin yung ating value na Q3, but make sure that you will use the cubic meter per second na value. Because lahat ng equation natin dito is in terms of metric system. Okay? Now, for the Q sub 2, you have 3.323 times 0 0.00231 itong meter, a cubic meter yung ginamit natin. So, Q sub 2, it is equal to 0 0.007687 cubic meter per second. Multiply it by 1,000 to get the liter per second. So, hindi naman sinabi ni problem na liter per second yung ating gagamit or yung hahanapin na value. Okay? But for uniformity kasi 10 liter per second yung given na first Q. Okay? But in solving, always use the metric system. This is the answer for our Q2 and Q Q3. Okay? Now, we need to get the total head loss. So, the formula for the total head loss, it is equal to head loss at pipe 1, head loss at pipe 2. So, pwede pipe 3 din. It is still the same kahit gamitin mo pa yung pipe 3. So, itry mo yan siya class. Try nyo yan siya class. HF3 yung gagamitin mo. The head loss na compute mo is still the same. So, plus head loss at pipe 4. Okay? So, we will get 1.683 meters. So, ito na yung mga final answers natin. Okay?